everyone this is Tony Nicole and in this video we'll be making a barbecue grill for our dollhouse using a large Christmas tree bulb I know it sounds really really weird and we've got a lot of materials to use so I have that scrolling for you and before we get into the how-to I'm gonna need you to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell you guys know what to do now, I got this Christmas tree bulb during the holiday season of course and I kept it and my fingers are crossed that this is gonna work I'm going to split it into two and use it to create this barbecue grill. So I'm having a really hard time opening up the Christmas bulb and unfortunately the paint is chipping off and so I'm really really disappointed but I finally got it opened and from there I'm going to smooth out the ragged ends by rubbing a nail file across there and the paint is coming off super super easy so I got most of it off just by rubbing it and lastly I'm gonna use acetone to get it all the way clean so I lost my awesome paint job which is a disappointment but I'm taking this out to the patio and spray painting everything black I used multiple coats and I did it on the inside and outside so the whole paint job took about 24 hours so in the meantime, while that's drying, I got a sales ad and I found an um, ad for lighter fluid and charcoal. So I'm going to make a bag for our charcoal by tracing the ad. And we traced it four times. And we're going to draw little tabs. And from there we'll cut it out and I'm using a popsicle stick to help me fold on all the lines and I apply a little glue to the tabs to create a bag and then you glue the sales ad on the bag now we're going to actually create charcoal to put inside the bag by stacking and gluing cardboard painting it black then I cut out little squares of craft foam and glued it on the top and applied a little bit of glitter and here's the look we're gonna put that aside to dry while that's drying we're gonna make a larger stack of coals that we're going to put inside the grill so I made a large circle of cardboard glued stacked painted it black added a little bit of glitter in shades of red orange and yellow that's gonna give the look of fire burning I added some more cut up foam and then we're lightly tapping everything with a little bit of white paint to make it look like ash and it's a really cool look it looks like burning coals so finally our charcoal is dry and you just put it in the bag and I like the way that looks it's nice kind of a real look to that then for the lighter fluid I am using paper and I'm rolling it up to create a little paper tube you're gonna flatten it out and then we'll paint the top red and glue the little label on so you have your lighter fluid and your charcoal so it's the next day <laughs> and everything is dry I brought my Christmas bowl back in it's a little bit of damage to the side but I'm gonna line up the back and I'm using a piece of craft foam to attach it so that it opens and closes. 
I know that there are other ways to do that to put a little joint in there using a straw but we're just using a craft bone for now to attach the both pieces then I'm gonna cut some wooden dowels about five inches glue it to the bottom and paint to create the legs Then we're going to take fun wire. I've got two different sizes, a thicker and a thinner. Create a nice big circle for the little rack to put on the grill. And then a smaller triangle we're going to glue between the legs. So I'm putting in our hot coals <laughs> made of craft foam and glitter. And then our rack on top. And this is the look. not bad and then the triangle we're gonna glue to the bottom I've got two bottle caps that I painted silver and we're going to wrap it with craft foam glue it to the bottom makes little wheels and the final step is to glue more wire to create a handle at the top and in the front and here it is. Here is our barbecue grill. It's some um, good and bad about it. Uh, what's really good is that I like the coals. I, the burning coals I think looks really, really cool. I like that look. But unfortunately, I was really disappointed that the red paint came off of the Christmas bulb. Because I thought that the shiny red would be really awesome. But <laughs> I thank you for watching this video. I always appreciate you. I always love to hear from you so contact me on my social media and for leaving a comment on our last video I want to officially welcome Dow's viewpoint to the red carpet so thanks again for leaving a comment I appreciate you so much I'll see you at the next video and remember it's more fun to make it